What's going on, nation? When it comes to maximizing your time in the gym, there are a few exercises that, in my opinion, are must-dos, and the barbell bench press is one of them. An exercise like this is going to help you build foundational strength that will not only carry over into other exercises, but help you increase your overall strength as well. Not to mention that if you want a big chest, you need to learn how to bench correctly so that you can safely overload with as much weight as possible, and my three golden rules will teach you everything you need to know. But before we get started, be sure to tap that like button if you enjoy my content, and if you're not getting notified of my videos, it's most likely because YouTube changed your subscription settings without you knowing it. So I'll place a link in my pinned comment below, and all you have to do is click it and then change notification settings from occasional to all. Now, golden rule number one, learn how to pack your shoulders. When bench pressing, if your shoulders are not retracted and depressed, you'll quickly learn what it means to plateau and have shoulder pain. In fact, this is the number one thing I see guys do wrong in the gym on a weekly basis. Packing your shoulders not only helps protect them, but also changes the bar path the barbell moves through when benching, allowing your chest to do the majority of the work to ensure you're training the entire chest. For example, when your back is flat, you'll bench more over your shoulders instead of your chest, and you'll almost immediately stop flaring your elbows as well. Guys, Always remember that whatever push exercise you do, you're always going to target the muscles that are in front the most. So if you keep your back flat and shoulders unpacked, which will cause them to slightly round forward a bit, you're gonna activate a lot more deltoids and less chest on every single rep. So keep your shoulders packed throughout the entire movement and avoid shoulder pain to maximize your chest activation. Golden rule number two, Use the right grip width for your body type. Now, I'm not saying that the perfect grip width differs a lot from person to person. In fact, it's usually just a slight adjustment that's needed the majority of the time. However, your grip should always be about shoulder width or a bit wider. A grip that's too close will shift the focus of the exercise to the triceps, and if you're too wide, this will bring more deltoids into the movement, reduce the overall range of motion and contraction of the chest, as well as raise the risk of a shoulder injury. A good rule of thumb that's always worked for me is to put the tips of my thumbs on the edge of the knurling on the barbell, and then from there, get a super tight grip on the barbell. This will get you in the optimal position that will help you keep your shoulders packed and elbows tucked throughout your entire set. Now before we get to golden rule number three, a lot of you have been asking how you can support me and show your appreciation for all the free content I provide. Well, what would make me the happiest is if you guys could join my site Muscular Strength as a platinum member. It's only $10 a month, and this way you can support your favorite online trainer and then also have access to my 12-week programs, custom meal planner, and exercise database all in one place. I'll put the link to join in my pinned comment below, and you can even check it out for free for seven days with code MS7. Also, make sure you download my app, Muscular Strength, because it's synced with my website. That means anything you do on your profile on the site will show up on the app and vice versa. It's awesome, guys, and you can even view the article version of this video right now on the app. All right, guys, so the final golden rule. Understand that the barbell bench press is a full body movement. Guys, if you can't feel the weight from the barbell from head to toe, you're doing it wrong. You should feel tension in your feet, legs, butt, core, back, chest, and arms on every single repetition, whether barbell or dumbbell bench pressing. To lift as heavy as you can, everything starts from having a solid base. But what makes the barbell bench so great is that it's a lot easier to get into position and keep everything tight before unracking the weight. With dumbbells, you have to roll back and then fine tune your starting position. But with the barbell, you can place both hands on the bar, plant your feet, and then slide up the bench, ensuring your shoulders are packed as tight as possible before unracking the weight. In fact, if you've never taken the time to really set up for a set of bench pressing, once you try these tips, I bet you will almost immediately be able to add five to 10 pounds to your bench press. Now you can place your feet on the bench instead of on the ground if you wanna make the push of the movement a lot more chest focused and not so much a full body exercise. 
But if the goal is to grow, you want to be able to lift as heavy weight as possible to overload your chest. So if anything, keep your feet on the ground for the majority of your sets. And if you want to add in a few sets of your feet on the bench after your chest has already been fatigued, that could be a good way to incorporate this alternative form into your training. Basically more as a burnout set than a true working set. But no matter which variation you choose, always remember to keep your core flexed and engaged on every repetition. A loose core will result in a massive decrease in your overall strength when benching. Now for those of you who've made it this far, I have a bonus tip. If you're still not quite feeling your chest activate while bench pressing, this is what I want you to do. Once you get into position and unrack the barbell, I want you to squeeze it as hard as you can while trying to push your hands together. This will force a much harder chest contraction on every single repetition. Just be careful you don't push your hands together so hard that they move and meet in the middle because that would be super embarrassing. <laughs> push them together just enough to feel that extra chest engagement. Be sure to subscribe if you guys enjoy my videos and as always, more good stuff coming soon. If you need help with proper form on any other exercises in the gym, click the playlist link over here for hundreds of how-to tutorials to binge on. And if you missed the premiere of my new series, Insta Garbage, I'll drop a link to that video as well. See you guys.